Hello everyone. If your C drive is full and if you're unable to use your Adobe application or any other application computer hard drive is full, then this tutorial is for you. This will be one of the most simplest and easiest tutorial through which you will be able to clean your C drive without deleting your important files. So the very first thing you need to do here is to search in the search icon and type file explorer and you will open up the file explorer page. now once it is opened go to the c drive and or go to the this pc and here go to the c drive and then look for windows folder and then scroll down and look for any option which says software distribution now software dis distribution location is there where we have all the windows updates get installed so once it is installed you no longer require those files so you need to go to the software distribution press ctrl a and you can delete all right you can do that because these are the installed updates which is already there in your computer and you don't and you do not need it so once you have deleted this close this and click on the search icon and type storage and you will find best match storage settings storage usage on other drive so we will click on storage settings so once you have find it you will find one option where you can turn on the storage sense i would recommend to do that and here you will find cleanup recommendation this will work on windows 10 and windows 11 both so options will remain same so here i can see i have the c drive and here we have this other app features, documents, temporary files. So I can see I have 4.7 GB of junk temporary files. Documents I have 14 GB. Apps uh, is taking 14 GB. So from here you will be able to know that why and which all things actually taking up the space. So let's say if document portion is taking too much space, you can go there just like this. You can click on view documents and you can simply delete those unwanted things which you do not need. I'll just go back here. Now, I'll go to this cleanup recommendation and here I can select downloads temporary Windows installation files and I can save 4.6 GB right away. So I can do that and here you can see large or unused files. Once you go to this option, you will find many videos or many files which is not required. So you can check one by one that which all files and folders you do not need. Because sometimes we download movies or we save some videos which we do not need it. So you can also look for larger files. Because if you're deleting small files, that will not free up the space. If you target larger files which takes a lot of space, if you see those files and delete it, it will be good. You can also check in your computer. And there is one more way. Let me open up the file explorer for you. And I'll just, um, I'll go to this PC. And at the left hand side, you will find many options like downloads, documents, pictures. And these are the folders where you can manually go through one by one. I would recommend you to do that, please manually go to downloads documents folder pictures folder each and every folder which you have just created it will not take much time if you have not created so many folders and then check which all file which all application which you have saved you need it else remove it and there's one more thing which you can do is uh, press the window and r key and open the run window and type app now once you click on ok you will find uninstall and change a program. So from here, uninstall all unwanted, unnecessary application, which is taking the higher amount of space. So you can go through one by one, see which application is taking how much size, how much space. And if you think that these are the applications which I do not need it, just uninstall it. So in this manner, you will be able to save a lot of space. And guys, after doing all these, Please let me know if it's useful for you. And if yes, please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.